Thank you for joining me on the Just Talk with Rachel Nekati. And today I want us to talk about your evaluation of yourself. How do you evaluate yourself? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Why is it important to evaluate yourself? Well, we sometimes give more value to other people's evaluations of us. When people give us negative feedback, we start doubting ourselves. When you hear that somebody was saying something negative about you, you start having serious personal doubt of your capabilities, of your strengths, of your skills. What if I told you that what other people think about you is none of your business? It is none of your business in the sense that it is their own assessment. It is what they think, and they are entitled to their own opinions. What people think about you does not make it a true evaluation of who you are. If you want to learn from feedback, you need to probe and also find ways you can become better. But when you hear that other people are thinking and they are not even confident enough to come and say it on your face, then treat it as something that you need to leave it with them. That is their own business. Because if it is something that they want you to become a better person, they should come to you and talk to you about it. Therefore, instead of always developing self-doubt, instead of always ruminating, having sleepless nights over what other people are saying about you, cut yourself some slack. What you think about yourself is very important. Whenever you get worked out about other people's opinion, you are simply saying your own evaluation of your capabilities is not important. But the fact of the matter is you've known yourself for many years. As long as you are not hurting anyone, as long as you are not stepping on anybody's toes, be very confident, assertive, and comfortable with your own personal evaluation of yourself. What other people think of you is none of your business. Each and every person do well to evaluate themselves. Each and every person do well to build their self-esteem. Because if you are not confident of your own value, you are not going to have self-esteem. Because self-esteem is your personal assessment of you. It's how you see yourself. Only after you have developed self-esteem would you then be confident of your capabilities. Because self-confidence comes on the backdrop of what you are capable of doing. So if you do not have a high self-esteem, you are now also going to lose sight of things that you are doing very well on. Therefore, please be very, very honest. Be very clear of who you are, what you are able to do, what you are not able to do. And if you want to learn from other people's feedback, probe and grow from it. And if no one is willing to give it on your face, no one is willing to let you know how they feel and they prefer to talk to others about you, that is nothing but projection. That is what they feel about themselves. And remember this, what other people feel is a projection of how they are. Projection is something that is very dangerous. People can start projecting their negative feelings and behavior towards you. Your job is to ensure that you don't carry anybody's monkey. Do not be the victim of other people's uncomfortable feelings and emotion. Remember this, what other people think about you, as long as you're not stepping on anybody's toes, it is none of your business. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.